We cannot pass through what never stood still. And in this truth, so many became lone voyagers, long gone insane. There are cries from every fiber of our being, each shade of people, as if every oath we took was a fallacy just waiting to be declared. I mean, do it if you dare. Go walk into the sidelines, stand in dust for long enough, you may catch a whispering plead, recollecting the gore, the diaspora at dusk. I mean, how long do you think it'd be before they fought back? And as for those of a less squeamish disposition, could you handle the graffiti? I mean, carvings from bloodshed sprawling like a visceral siren, the air doused in an urban anger, or a distinct sort of nausea that can make any white, black other frame of fire. Fear and resistance, each evolved arsenic, engulfing history, their embers reminiscing it, headlines emitting it, as if genocide comes from a place outside of man. As if all my brown-skinned friends were born into rejection, chained to dynamo by default. Morality was always a nebulous fringe of query, and lately I've begun to question the shifting lines, the ping-pong discreet. Rules are different for the leaders, it seems. Rules are different for the leaders, it seems. Unsolicited rage, no reason required to blitz it or bury it. We see the flicker of a flame, if anything at all. The rest is debris, dazzlement, mingled with spit lining the edges of ceilings. We're left with vapor or lava. And neither tells the tale with sincerity. They eluded white collars, pristine to the edge, not a single crinkle or trace to suggest mass murder, or, you know, just the casual invasion of black skin, a woman's body, another child's skull sundered, another pesky throbbing town of blood left convulsing in the dirt. The motives are never real, the tactics absurd. Scattering violets into boreholes and race home and slip like creatures of mist back into the cushioned and unfathomable position of being able to just shrug it off. Got to scramble for the luster as they do. Look for long enough and the crimson fades into the background. Shackles shut tight or there's metal going rancid. Are they famished yet? Are you finished yet? Cameras glare. The world is panting for the death toll, scrolling for the details. Skew it. Say it was a threat. This black boy, this veiled woman, a violence of necessity. We're trying to protect you. So they feigned the fiasco, went and candidly corroded it. This whole thing's demented, dying like this. Must be like driving in a motorway, and suddenly the cars in your own lane begin moving backwards, picking up speed, and you're still trying to change gear while swiftly being crushed to death. And all this time, you thought we were moving forwards. 